Alrighty, welcome back to my Final Fantasy XII playthrough. We're gonna jump back in. We're gonna continue in this uh, the new dungeon that we're in. Let's see what this guy has to say first. So if the if the person's like a, like their little portrait is grayed out, it means they can't they can't even equip this yet. So all this stuff is amazing, except we can't do anything about it. Now this he has equipped, so that doesn't do us much good. So let's look at so he doesn't have anything else. That's that's disappointing. So she has that equipped. He could use that. We have this equipped. So you can see the like the increases if we were to buy some of this stuff. Mean to blind, that would be nice. Two of our three people could equip this, and then we would have we would have that ability just on all the time. We could just buy it, which, you know what, we have 3,000 gil, let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, so this is some of the stuff I was telling you we could buy. Here's some of our spells. I'm gonna get this and this for sure. I'm probably gonna end up buying it all, let's be honest, right? But This is, this is good to have. Yeah, whatever, we'll get that too. Let's see, what do we have for this? Okay, there are so many things in this list. You, I can't get it all. Okay, highest and lowest max HP. I am gonna buy these, just so I have some options. What else do we have? Look at the self. Right now, I can't buy them all, so I'll get something like this. Now remember, I can sell a bunch of stuff too. I'm not going to worry about that. That might be good. Um, I mean, maybe we do a something like that. I'm gonna come back up here to these. Okay, so now we have a little bit more we can do with that. So that pole would be ridiculous uh, power. Who uses poles? Let's let's try to remember here. Holes, we don't have the person that would use that, so that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, none of the, the... This we could use on her. Unfortunately, she's going to be busy healing us most of the time. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to hold on this. That's, I know that's a little boring, but... There's no reason to try to buy stuff if we don't if we can't use it. Okay, this is gonna do nothing. We have to go up here and supposed to do here. Interesting. I'll hit this again and just see what happens, but I know it'll be nothing. Can we talk to this guy? Okay, there we go. I was going to say. 
I don't remember that being a problem. That's fun. Okay, so there it is. What's going to end up happening is bugs are going to chomp on the power, and if it gets too dark, the real nasties will come out, and that can be great for leveling. But if you get overwhelmed and you die, and you haven't saved, then you basically lose everything. So that would be bad. Hey, who turned out the lights? One of those? I've heard of these. Mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. They gorge themselves on the stuff till there's naught left. So, um, what happens then? Lights out, and it's worse in the dark. Much worse. So, let them get too close to one of those conduits, and they'll suck it dry. But don't worry, it'll give the energy back if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking. So we're basically on a, on a timer, pretty much constantly here. charge back there, good. Little big gill, nice. Okay, we got multiple guys attacking us, that ain't great. Come on, let's kill the little bug. Troll. Okay, just a seeker. She's got no MP now, so that's that's a problem. Like I said, normally I'd let the tunnel go dark and I'd do some farming. You do have to have some relatively decent gear and weapons to get that done, though. So 
Storm Stone, nice. Come on, man. When they go into that flashing state, they get really, really tough. When we get towards the end of this dungeon, what I'll probably do uh, is um, is farm a little bit because I'll be right next to a or really close to a save point, and then I won't be so worried about losing everything. So let's see if we can actually get to the end here. He's gonna run. Okay, we'll go after him later. I'm not gonna chase him right now. I'm coming back up to this because I I just happen to know the map is up here. Yeah. Very nice. It all adds up. Okay, now this the map for this area is complete. Great. Well, that's what it says. I gotta turn around, I guess. Yep. Yeah. It's marked as like a little marker on my map. Oh, it looks like we're already getting dark. This can get real nasty the darker it gets, so. Strip of flesh, that's that's worth quite a bit. As long as we have friend healing, we'll be okay. There is there also is a maximum amount of things that can spawn. Ooh, that this is bad here. And when they teleport like that, the, the steel fails automatically, so. He slowed me, that's even worse. Because I have no way of taking that off right now. She's almost out of magic, so that's gonna be bad for us. Kill this thing, please. Alright. get a lot of charge for that, so. I mean, the good news is, while we're, while we're doing this, we're just getting more uh, license points. We're also building up XP, obviously. Okay, well, she's got... She can't do anything about it, so the only other thing we can do is an antidote. If you if you constantly sort um, your your items and all, when you go in to do items, they'll be in that order. You can move things around manually after you sort if you want something to be at the top of your list. That's important to know. And the same thing goes for magic. It will, it will change where stuff is. So irritating. Now, technically, I don't have to take it off, but... Yeah. 
Yeah, putting that extra power on Ball here, I think, was definitely a good idea. And those strips of flesh, they sell for a couple of hundred, I think, a piece. I mean, I could run past these guys, but they're just gonna run down to the area where we're gonna have to fight um, that next thing, so we might as well kill them now. Okay, great. Let's see if we can get him to die, because he's just annoying. Okay, so we got a lot of it back there. Okay. You can see how stealing every single enemy can just make... I mean, I know I keep saying this, but that can make such a massive difference in the amount of loot you have. Okay, so where we're going here is kind of a... This is a bit of a random... I don't think you have to go to this side. Maybe you do. I don't remember. I always do it, though, because why wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Maybe you do have to do it. I don't know. We should check our limit points here in a sec. I mean license. I'm going to say limit points all the time. I mean license points. Okay, so what would be gain MP after taking damage? I could just do the straight up. I have armor. I kind of need to get this. I don't remember seeing katanas in that tree though, so is that going to do me any good? Probably not. So, what would be the next most important thing? Where is the first HP? I'm just going to do this, because this is going to open an, a quickening that could be good to go ahead and get. So this is a remedy lore. Oh, that's good. It costs 20, plus it's a, it opens this up here. Fires of War. Don't really need that. I'll go ahead and get heavy armor too. Okay. I definitely want this. Feral strike. This whole side is gambits, for the most part. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that so he has a little bit more health. Okay. Now, as far as gambits go, if I do this, 
he should automatically attack whatever the lowest health uh, mob is, and then since he's the party leader, they will follow. So, that should be good. Also, hmm, I still can't do what I want to do there. Pretty annoying. Okay, well, we just don't have what we need, so that's cool. Um, all right, now where are we? Oh, this is required. I don't know why I'm thinking it's not. Buckler, so that's a shield, I believe. Okay, now we're gonna go, there's a little optional area up here, and it can get pretty nasty, so let's, uh, she's got zero MP. You know what? Okay, now she's got 50 MP, great. Rod, okay, that's a that's a like a type of weapon. So just to show you. So that's not super powerful. I mean it's a two-handed rod. Typically these have a lot of hidden powers as well, but I mean it's a bit unfortunate that they don't actually tell you you have to look it up. Battle harness. Okay, who can equip the battle harness? I'm gonna have to look again. Where's my armor? Oops. Okay, battle harness. I think since we already have that, or it'd be at the bottom, right? I know for a fact we got battle. I know for a fact I saw a battle armor. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. That messed with me for a second. It wasn't armor. It's uh it's this. When attacked, automatically counter. Okay. That could be cool. Except we need accessories four for that, and you get strength. So we can't do that just yet, but at least we have an option. Okay. Now here's where it's gonna get fun. Really? Okay. I'm, I was almost positive things are supposed to drop on you. Maybe it's the next area. Pretty sure they're supposed to drop on you. Ooh! I think I actually already have that. Yes, that's what I'm using, unfortunately. Now I have two. See, one of two. So I stole that weapon from a, from a bat. That's pretty cool. Of course, I already had it, so that didn't do me much good, but again, you can see, here it is. If you didn't believe before, for some reason, you do now. Hopefully. This guy's gonna run. I really hate that they run. It's quite irritating. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go. We'll take care of him, but we gotta come back. I thought he was gonna go further. These guys are tough. Okay, so you see this is cut this is shut off, so in order to open this gate, we have to go up the other way anyways. Okay, now why the hell is he attacking him? He should be attacking the lowest tar lowest health target. So 
so I have no idea why I did that. That is not good. Zerk when you uh, when they get down to that flashing. Okay, so that's that. Let's go all the way up. I'm almost positive. Maybe this is where they drop on you. to explore here. Seventy gill. It's nice. That fire does so much damage. That you'd be crazy not to do it. Now that said Pointy hat, very nice. She's going to run out of magic relatively soon. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to see those chests, but at least it notifies you of that little that little sound. Now, see, why the hell is he not focusing the one that I want him to focus? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it the wrong. Lowest level. That's not what I meant. I meant, see, I messed it up. I was gonna say, that doesn't make any sense. I knew something was wrong. Hundred and ninety-four damage is what her, her fire just did on him. Okay, 66 gil. Let's press that switch, shall we? drop on us at some point. Come on now. Don't make me a liar. Okay. 
This is a situation where you want to flee, unless you want to fight them. But if you don't, if you don't hold the button to flee and someone does magic, the bombs will aggro to magic. And we have no idea what level they are. We're just gonna. The thing is with with the bombs, if they blow up, they could wipe us, and I don't, I really don't want to die. That would suck. Okay, so we've just unlocked this gate. We're gonna we're gonna pick up here. Oops. We're gonna pick up here in the next episode, and we will continue hopefully and get to the boss of this area. So I do hope you've enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.